underrated fragrances that deserve more attention. Hi everyone, I'm Jean Lim and this is my channel Scented Moments where we discuss everything about fragrances. So in this video I have a list here of 10 fragrances that are truly hidden gems that deserve more love and attention. And in the no specific order, let's start. The first fragrance being from the house of Amouage and it is Memoir Woman. Actually the entire line of Amouage that is marketed for women is very underrated when compared with the men's side of things. Again, all fragrances are unisex. This is just marketing strategy. Um, and I dare to say that the Memoir Woman is even more masculine and more daring than Memoir Men, which also have and I absolutely love. Memoir Woman is a true witchy gothic dark fragrance very daring uh potent strong with um it, it has a bit of an absinthe feel in here you have absinthe cord with tons of incense oak moss uh with castorium woods i mean you name it you have here so many notes here but in the end it's a very incensey spicy green mossy woodsy animalic fragrance i mean it's very complex but in the end it's a dark enchanted forest with a, a gothic feel into it it's amazing absolutely love this one very underrated from amouage overall it's amouage memoir woman the next fragrance it's from the house of indult and it is ishvaraya Indult overall is very underrated brand um, and you know that this brand for me is known for their vanilla Tiota, which is for me the best vanilla ever made at least so far But Ishvaraya, it's so slept on again. The entire house is very slept on um, And again, don't forget as I always mention when I talk about any fragrance from Indult that their fragrances were created by Francis Cochon before he launched his own brand and the Ishvaraya is an amazing plum fragrance is really centered around this jammy plum accord that is delicious with patchouli and amber this sweet um, resinous ambery qualities with a bit of an earthy patchouli with a jammy plum this is so sexy so addictive and i absolutely love it great performance overall um if you love plum if you miss plum japonais i think this is a solid alternative now this doesn't smell like plum japonais at all but in terms of plum itself i think it's a great replacement in that regard uh, it's really currently my favorite plum uh fragrance absolutely love this one check this one out if you have yet to Ishvaraya by indult the next fragrance it's from the house of rubini and it is nuvolari uh, this fragrance was inspired by tazio nuvolari which was uh, a very famous italian racing driver considered by many has the best uh in the field and uh so this one really transmits that racing smell like it has fuel oil lubricating oil um it re and it has a rubber feel like um like tires feel in here um and it's leathery it's animalic it's a bit animalic it has some wood in here as well but in the end this is a very dark oily leathery slightly animalic fragrance very unique in my opinion very very unique this can go i would say that this could could go in the realm of fahrenheit by dior the classic fahrenheit but more amped up everything more amped up and more intense darker uh more daring uh version let's say but just for you to have a reference and i'm saying that this is like Fahrenheit I'm not saying that it's very different but it's just for you to have a reference because Fahrenheit is known to have this gasoline uh, quality because of the violet uh, so this one has that fuel lubricating oil uh, this tire rubber uh, with oud and leathers it's 
an amazing amazing fragrance highly advise to check this one out um, and actually I really advise to check the entire Hubini's uh, fragrance house I mean his uh, perfumes are very unique high quality fragrances I mean I'm a big fan of Hubini I discovered this brand at Essence last year and uh, yeah I've been a big fan since then so yes yeah, so Nouveau Lati by Rubini. The next fragrance from Naomi Good Sir, another very underrated brand and this one specifically. I absolutely love it and it's very slept on. It is Cuir Velour. It's so good. This is all about tobacco, rum, leather and uh, Immortel with honey. Oh, beautiful. But the, for me, more than leather, it's, I think it's more about the suede. It's more of a suede leather um, with yeah, with tobacco, with this immortel, like a crunchy, caramelized immortel. And I would also say it's a bit fruity. There is like this fruity, apricot-y feel into it with rum. Oh, it's so very sensual. Now, it's a fragrance that doesn't project. It's a fragrance that performs like lasts, but doesn't project. It. Although it's an eau de parfum, but it's a fragrance that it will not uh, project. It will not fill a room. But to be honest, it's great that uh, performs like this because if I think if this would be a loud fragrance, I think it would be too much because it has some sweetness in here and um, and this fragrance just lingers, comes and goes and uh, I think it's very, very sensual because of that and it's very addicting in the end. I think it's quite unique and uh, yeah, it's very slept on, very slept on, high quality perfume here, very unique again. From Naomi Gutzer is Cuir Velour. Next fragrance from House of Rania J, and it is Oud Assam. Again, Rania J, very, very underrated. And uh, I dare to say that this is the best quality oud for the price. Um, a natural smelling uh, and daring, slightly animalic oud. It has Indian oud in here, and uh, yeah, it's amazing. I absolutely love this one, and I love the entire range of Rania J. This is the old bottle. Uh, presentation now it comes in a slightly different style um, but it still smells the same at least to my nose and um, with the sound so more than just oud it has also some citruses like bergamot and bitter orange with tons of frankincense and of course with oud and some black pepper as well it's a wonderful I mean for oud lovers I think this is a must try at least and it goes for 150 euros if I'm not mistaken uh, for 50 ml, I think it's a great price for the quality here uh, because usually wood fragrances go for astronomical prices and most of them don't even have wood in there, uh, at least to my nose. This one, to my nose, it has um, and it comes across natural smelling wood. Again, daring, a um, bit animalic, big funky, but overall it's a beautiful, beautiful creation. Highly advise to check this uh, Oud Assam and uh, the Rania J fragrances like Ambre Loop, I think it's the most popular. Ambre Loop is amazing amber. Um, with then you also have um, Lavan 44, great lavender. Um, you also have Queer, uh, you have a Queer Andalou. It's like a very industrial, oily like leather. Um, and others, I mean, this, this house is really slapped on, and again. Highly advised to check out, especially Oud Assam. The next fragrance from Profumum Roma, Dolce Pensieri. And this is a recent-ish release. I mean, this was released in 2021 and barely anyone talked about it. I mean, I know the perfume guy Sebastian talked about it, but I don't recall seeing any other reviewer talking about Dolce Pensieri. Uh, and I mean, I understand. Uh, I mean, in the end, Perfumum Broma, it's not a fragrance that has a great distribution worldwide and they don't send free bottles. Uh, so, yes, I think those two facts, and also they are, they are expensive. So, all of those factors uh, maybe are the reason why. I mean, Dolce Pensieri is not very talked about, but actually, I, I love it. I absolutely love this one. This is a very jammy very very sexy decadent red rose with vanilla and sandalwood I, and i dare to say dare to say that there is the tiniest drop of wood in here i would say 
um, although they don't mention any oud, maybe it's just the the impression that I get. But oh man, this is so good. This is so good. So damn sexy. It's a again a sweet, jammy, decadent uh, rose with a delicious vanilla. And Perfumo Broma also does vanilla like to perfection and uh, with sandalwood. Oh, very good. Very good. And the sandalwood gives a, a spicy touch here. They, Perfumo Broma has a perfume that it's just sandalwood and it's a very spicy, like a very spicy dry sandalwood. And I feel that that type of sandalwood is in here that gives a, a spicy edge to die for. Really advise to check this one out. Very long lasting, great performance overall. My fiance loves this one. Dolce Pensieri by Profumo Broma. Next fragrance from the house of Healy, it is Rose Aria. And I already talked about Rose Aria actually a couple of years ago. I was talking about Rose Aria a lot when I discovered it. It was a fantastic discovery. And um, and it's still very underrated. This fragrance is very underrated, I would say. So, of course, like the name implies, it has rose. But it's not your typical fresh red rose or jammy rose. This is a silky rose petals type of fragrance. And it, then it has tons of musk in the base. Borderline animalic type of musk in the base. Love it. I love how this fragrance transitions like from this delicate, soft, silky, slightly sweet, I would say, slightly sweet um, ro red rose petals and then changes into musk, like a musk perfume. Love it. Absolutely love this one. Very sensual, I would say as well, uh, and elegant. And this one lasts. This is an extra, so this, this will last for a very long time. I highly advise to check this one out and actually check the entire Healy brand because um, in, even in their regular collection with Cardinal, uh, with um, Cologne Aficionale, with, and, uh, and others like Salmaram and Fresh, like the most popular ones, I mean, check the, that entire range because it's quite affordable. I mean, it's in the 140 euros, I would say, for 100 ml. Uh, the extras in the 100 ml go for, I would say, 170, 190 ish, uh, which I think it's still very decent, especially comparing with nowadays the the pricing market of the, the fragrances overall. I think it's a very, very solid house, especially for the price and very slept on. So yes, check uh, Rose Adi out. And you also know that from Healy, I love Eau Sacré, which is my favorite incense. So again, this just to say, check out James Healy. And uh, in this case, try Rose Adia. The next fragrance is an indie brand from Australia, which I already talked about. And uh, yeah, this is very underrated. I discovered this one here in Vilnius this year. Uh, it was a, a small perfume event. And uh, it was this fragrance is fragrance and the fragrance band they are being carried by nosy which is an online perfume shop here in uh in vilnius and i will leave their link in the description box down below uh, because i just want to support uh i want to support them and this one is so criminal elements tobacco jam and look at the color of the liquid i mean very very dark uh so tobacco jam is like the name implies tobacco of course with the jammiest raspberry uh with styrax suede and hay it's amazing it's a fragrance that it's it's sweet super jammy again it's it's probably the most natural smelling uh raspberry jam that uh that i smell uh with tobacco and uh and it has this hay feel and suede this fragrance i would say that it suits wonderfully for fall and winter of course the performance though and i think this is extra yeah, this is extra this is a parfum a concentration um this is a fragrance that will not project of course it's an extra usual extras do not project but it's a fragrance that it will it will last for a very long time and of course you need to be careful while you spray you don't need you don't want to spray this in your clothes um because of this will stain but this this is a very decadent sexy unique 
tobacco fragrance i would say absolutely love this one and i'm i'm a big fan of criminal elements fragrances i mean i have on my wish list like they have a fragrance called fall literally fall which is a woody spicy fragrance they have another one called sanguine marena uh which is it goes in this genre as well like a jammy boozy um resinous type of perfume um and some others more fresher uh, fragrances that they also have in their portfolio big fan of this brand i would say big discovery amazing discovery for me this year criminal elements again from australia and tobacco jam oh, it's beautiful it's a fantastic jammy fruity uh tobacco with some suede and some and hay as well love it check this one out guys the next fragrance from house of baruti perverso Baruti, I think it's another fragrance brand that it's uh, a bit underrated, I would say. Um, it had some attention, I mean, a few years ago, but now it seems that no one really talks about them. Um, and, um, and I think they deserve much more attention. They are from Netherlands and uh, these, uh, they have fragrances in the extrait, like this one. And now they have also Eau de Parfum concentrations of their uh, extrait um, so and and it's a brand that has very unique creations this one and very potent I mean especially in the extraits in the other parfum you get a lighter uh, a lighter take a lighter experience but I do prefer my extraits I do prefer my higher concentration fragrances more potent more intense and dense Proverso is one of the most powerful potent fragrances that I have in my collection this is all about roasted nuts with rum, with coffee, with cacao. And in the end, this is like by the fireplace by Maison Margiela, amped up and more daring and a bit more animalic because this also has some civet in here. Um, so yeah, if you are a fan of like the fragrance style, the fragrance genre of by the fireplace, I think you will love this one. I absolutely love it. Um, and it's powerful. This is a fragrance that will fill n not one room, but maybe two rooms. <laughs> it's how potent this fragrance is. And uh, But yes, I highly advise to check this one out. Preverso by Baruti. And last, but by no means least, from the house of Ramon Monegal from the Don't Touch My Wood collection, Alhambra Wood. Now, Alhambra Wood was for many years my favorite rose wood fragrance. And now it was replaced by the mighty The Moon by Frederick Mal. But this is still a close second. Uh, this, in terms of quality, doesn't fall too much under uh, The Moon, I would say. This is, in terms of quality, it's up there. Definitely up there. So it's rose, it's oud and it has like a green apple accord as well with some jasmine this fragrance is oh, it's such a natural smelling rose wood the rose here is a bit jammy like a jammy rose in the same realm of flamenco in flamenco extrait also by ramon morigal with a natural smelling wood i mean i love this wood line the don't touch my wood line it's very underrated overall high quality wood uh, note used in here in the not only in the Lambra wood but also in the other fragrances like soul of wood um wood on fire and ocean wood ocean wood it's the most daring of them all because it's a salty fishy wood <laughs> just imagine that uh, but and this one is I, I dare to say it's the sexiest of them all and uh, it has an amazing performance um it's really one of the best rose wood fragrances out there. I mean, the moon is very expensive. Um, and uh, so if you don't want to pay like over 800 euros for a 100 ml, you can go with 270 retail for a 50 ml and you get the highest of quality of, in terms of rose wood. So finishing this video, Alhambra Wood by Ramon Morigal. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments down below what other underrated fragrances would you suggest. If you find value in this video, please hit the like button, subscribe and uh, check out uh, my other videos, perfume related, of course, and see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Ciao.